find it difficult to trust your specific person? Do you feel like you're in this constant state of fear that something's going to go wrong or they're going to leave you or they're, they're not going to want you or things are just going to fall apart? If this is the case, then you might have a subconscious belief that you're abandoned. People are going to abandon you. People are going to leave you. That's going to create difficulty in your relationships because you're not going to easily trust people due to that fear. So that's the core belief that we're going to want to change. You can affirm for your specific person and think, you know, they're committed to me. We're in a happy, healthy relationship. They love me. They adore me. But on a subconscious level, you believe that it's difficult to trust them. You won't fully trust them because of your subconscious fear that they're going to leave. Something's going to fall apart because that's what your brain expects. That's what it's looking for. It's literally looking for any little thing to prove that belief to be true, to, re to reinforce that belief. So what's going to happen is they're going to do something, say something that could be completely innocent and you're going to view that and perceive it as, oh my God, see, things are falling apart because of your fear that you can't trust people and they're going to leave. That's why it's important to change our self-concept. That's why it's important. Yes, you can affirm that your SP loves you and adores you. Absolutely do that. We want to have a favourable story about them. Of course, we don't want to be thinking shitty thoughts about them because that wouldn't be coming from the version of us that's in the new self-concept. But when you change the core belief, you know, it's safe to trust. I trust men. I trust that the love I'm given is mine. I trust that I'm worthy of love. I trust men. I trust that they're going to stay. I trust that the people I love always stay in my life. Things like that. Just They're just some examples. Then you'll get your SP and you're not going to have that underlying belief that, you know, oh my God, what if they're doing this? What if they're doing that? Because you've changed that belief to now be able to trust them. Allowing yourself to trust that this time is different. This time, I, the, the love's here to stay. This time, I know they're here to stay. No one's going to leave me because you've changed you and your SP can only reflect you and what you assume and believe to be true. So let's say you still have the belief that people always going to leave you and that makes it difficult for you to trust them right so let's say they're meant to come and see you at the weekend and then they say to you oh you know my dad's really ill and i think i, I need to stay home or, or something i don't know i need to go see him in your old self-concept your mind having the belief of not being able to trust people and they're always going to leave you you'd be thinking oh my god something like i bet i bet he's lying i bet there's someone else oh see it's falling apart it's falling apart he's going to leave me he just doesn't want me this is just an excuse that's what you might think. But in your new self-concept, someone just shout, just my neighbour getting his delivery. So yeah, in your new self-concept, when you've changed that core belief of people are never going to leave me, it's safe to trust, I easily trust, it's, it's a good thing to trust people. I trust love, I trust relationships. I know that any relationship I, I'm in, the, the person I love wants to stay, wants to be with me. You know, you're changing that core belief. So when they say something like, oh, I need to go and... I can't see you today because I need to go and see my dad or whatever. You're not going to have those thoughts of, oh my God, I bet they're lying. Oh my God, oh my God, I bet they're doing this. This is why self-concept is important because it makes it a lot easier to manifest your specific person. I think, I think self-concept is really important and really key because it really helps you not have those thoughts because if you've still got that subconscious belief that you can't trust people and they're going to leave you, then what's the point in manifesting your specific person and, oh, they love me, they're committed to me. Because un underneath all of that, underneath the layers, you still believe that you can't trust him or her. You still believe that you're going to get abandoned. So your brain is actively looking for evidence to prove that to be true until you change that core belief. When you change that belief, your brain isn't looking for evidence to prove that to be true. Your brain is looking for evidence to prove that you can trust people. Okay, I hope that makes some sort of sense. And that's the same for any core belief. This is why I think it's so important to work on your self-concept. You don't have to you don't have to listen to me, do whatever works for you. But in my experience, over the last 12, 13 years, things didn't change until I changed. Things, I'd manifest things, I'd manifest things all the time. But a lot of the things I'd end up losing because I didn't change my belief within about being wanted, being good enough, being capable in all areas of my life, not just relationships, but in career, in health, in all sorts of things. When you change you, this isn't about changing you as a person, it's just changing what you believe to be true about things, about yourself in relation to things. This doesn't mean you need to fix yourself. That's not what self-concept's about. It's not about fixing yourself. It's about changing the way you think about things, changing the way you think about yourself in relation to the things that you want to experience. Like, if we've got a choice between thinking we can't trust people and we can trust people, what would you prefer to think? Of course you want to be able to trust people. So there's nothing wrong with changing that belief. That doesn't mean there's something wrong with you and you need to fix yourself. 
that just means you're choosing to change that belief about you. I'm going to stop rambling now because I've got to go and do a coaching session, but I love you all. You're all amazing. If you want to book coaching with me, the link is in my bio. You're fantastic. You can do this. Remember, you're worthy, you're capable, you're loved, you're chosen, you're wanted, you're all of those things, okay?